Was this the mo- okay? Okay. Aside from the things that could go wrong when gre- when getting graded comics done, like oh USPS or UPS lost the box, they threw it under their car and ran it over. Ah, CGC lost the books. Things happen. Putting those things aside, because nothing like that happened. You you submitted the books. The books came back. Was this one of the worst experiences waiting for comics to get graded because of how long you had to wait because of me and the comic fam? Yeah, uh, look, when I get books graded, all right, I don't do it frequently enough, but when I do it, I do large quantities of it. So I have like four or five submissions there right now all at once, okay? And I have looked at all of them except for this one, and I am frantic when it comes to knowing in advance. So I will constantly refresh maybe 12 times in a day. Okay. Knowing that, that it's there, you know, you compulsively check the grades. Yes. Is what every you're day I do every day. I got to know what the, from the community in the comment section below. Do you check your grades when you submit them religiously? For me, I get a lot of stuff graded. I kind of like opening it up in person. I kind of forget. I like the surprise. I didn't always do that. If I had a really expensive book that I'm like really hoping that it comes back a certain type of grade, yeah, I'll check it. Oh, I hope it doesn't come back restored. I'll check that kind of stuff. But most of the time I avoid it. I want to know what the community does in the comment section. You compulsively check. I do. I compulsively check and I'm okay with it. That's I'm okay with me, all right? And I like to also know in advance, and then also I can plan things, because I like to make content, so I'm like, okay, this book came this way, or these books are coming, what can I do to make it interesting? For those of you who don't know, when you submit comics to CGZ, for example, on your account page, it'll give you status updates on if they've received the box, Hey, they've opened the box and they're in for pre-screening. Hey, a grader is is actually grading them. Hey, this is the grader's information per book. And you'll see it on the sheet. And I'll even, okay, you know, so there's also a shipping hyperlink. Sure. So when you click the shipping hyperlink, it takes you to the tracking. So once I do that, I have a USPS account. So I'm logged in and I say, notify me when it arrives to. Uh, so I'm getting notified on that end as well, because I want to know immediately when it arrives, so I don't have to, like, assume or, or like, you know, just have it sitting there, because it's the post office, and it's right. usually, I'm doing Standard Express, and usually pretty high-value books, so I want to be able to get it right away and not have it, you know, hanging out in purgatory mail hell, potentially. All right, so we are going to be doing a special podcast today, because we have a giant unboxing to do, but... You know, we got some commentary we got to give. We have a lot of stuff to talk about because 21 Hulk 181s, that's a lot of green, but it's also a great learning opportunity. We're going to test the guru and see because you did a estimate of what you were hoping the grades would be. We're going to see how accurate you were. We're going to see how off you were on some of these because Comic Fam, he brought this box to me and it was sealed. I'm the one who opened and saw the grades before you did, Jeff. I went through and matched up the raw books with you and then went to the box and figured out which book it was that you took a video of when you went through your screening process. So I know every single book I put on a like sticky note on the back what you thought it was. And we are going to reveal together as a community what you got. Yeah. So just to clarify, I took a video of every book that was raw with a post-it. Okay. And that post-it said the grade that I Um, was uh, expecting to uh, receive from CGC. Approximately. Yeah, and so I sent you all the videos. You cross-referenced all the books. And so, yeah, this is going to be a big surprise for me. I'm sure I won. I'm sure I failed. I'm sure it was even. We're going to estimate the totals, and we're going to give it to you because we also pulled pricing for Hulk 181s. I want to start out with one reveal, though. We're going to be trickling out these reveals all show because we have different segments we're going to do in according to the books. But... The first thing I wanted to show you was what you told me was the one that you were most excited and longing to find out how it did. You told me that there was a raw book that you were hoping, crossing your fingers, would come back a 9.0. So the first book. And we have a camera set up so that you can give some of your reactions to the grades. But also, I would like you to point out flaws and things that went through your mind in the beginning when you were screening these to teach the community what you were looking at because maybe you can spot something that maybe a novice wouldn't. Your first Hulk 181 that you were hoping would be a 9.0. I have a 9.0 on the back. It says it right here. You got 
a 9.0. Congratulations, right. my brother. We already have a winner. So let's talk about this 9.0. Let, let me take a good look at this thing, too. Here. Yeah, I mean, this is a sharp book. Look, it's a 9.0. It's a sharp book. It has a few color breaks along the spine. But for the most part, pretty sharp corners. Uh, the wrap isn't perfect, but it has the lightest of foxing on the back cover along the top here. So that held it back. Um, if that wasn't there, this could have been closer to probably a 9.2. I don't know if it would hit the 9.4. I thought this was going to be above a 9.0 until I flipped it over and saw the foxing. Can you explain that to the community so they know how to keep an eye out for this type of problem? The foxing will appear as kind of these light discoloration spots on the back of a book or the front of a book. So just know when you see that, depending on the severity, is depending on how much you will be uh, knocked on grade. Now, you can actually get quite a bit of foxing on a book and still get a pretty solid grade. I've seen uh, an immense amount before and still get a 6065 if the rest of the book's pretty nice. So we are going to be tallying up towards the end of the video, the total value based off of the last sale at the particular grades that we have. But I'll tell you as we go, a 9.0 last sold for $9,600. We're basically starting out with 10K on the table. Hit the subscribe button, Comic Fam Hot Damn. All right. So we got a 9.0, Hulk 181. Beautiful copy. We have some other books that we that you submitted rather, I didn't, I didn't submit these books, but these are ones that we did not have any type of accounting for. So these are going to be kind of surprises. All right. We yeah. lost some videos. Yeah. So only a few, it's not a big deal. Yeah. I mean, when there was that, like trying to get through 23 of them, because two of them are going to go to CBCS because one's a signature and one's an incomplete. So having to deal with 21 raws in between the length of time it took me to press them and then film them and switching post-its around, I, there was some lost in translation, and so I got, I got confused. So we're still going to reveal these in the first part of the show. Let's make it happen. Um, there's only four of these ones that we didn't get notes on. So any, you know, if, if they inspire you, you remember some of the problems, anything, just walk us through if you're surprised at the grades or maybe a little bit about why you expect them to have gotten what they got. We have a Hulk 181, the lowest of the stack that you didn't notate. A 1.8. So I have on my notes, um, last 1.8 sold for 22.50. Yeah, I'm looking at this 1.8 here. Um, it it looks familiar. It really does. Um, I don't, I don't quite understand why it's a 1.8. Um, I probably would have graded this higher. Uh, looking at it now, um, so. It looks like it's got a detached bottom staple and maybe top at the back cover. Um, if I remember correctly, this cover was attached to this book. I don't remember having any detached covers. Um, this is a gorgeous 1.8. It, it just does is. look really nice. Um, I've seen some horrendous 2.0s that we've been joking about over the last few months that look way worse than that 1.8. So there could just be one glaring problem that we didn't see. Yeah, this is interesting to me because if I'm seeing low-end books like... Being 1.8 looking like this, I'm a little concerned already. All right. Well, I'll tell you, you have wins in this pile, but you do have some losses. But let's keep it going. We have a 2.5. 2.5. All right. All right. So, Comic Fam, the guru is holding a 2.5. He's shaking his head. He's like, what's going on? Why is this a 2.5? Are we starting off a little bumpy? Uh, yeah, I hope you guys get a really good look. This is a 2.5 white pager. I'm going to let you take a look here at the front, okay? And then we're going to look at the back, too. No spine splits. It looks like it's attached at both staples. And this is what a 2.5 looks like right now. And that's that's interesting to me, right? That one is interesting. Yeah, I, I am, uh, I'm very surprised about that 2.5, right? that's for sure. All right, well, if you're not if you're surprised about that 2.5, and what was that a white pager? White pager. All right, well, this one is a 2.5 as well, off white to white. So maybe you can compare and contrast because this one looks way more banged up than that one. So let's show them this 2.5 and then show them that 2.5. And remind everybody, at last 2.5, it's selling for right around the same price of a 1.8. Um, 
again, they don't come up as often. So some of these sales are going to be right around the same amounts, 21.5. But if a 1.8 is going for 22.5, you can imagine it's going to be riding right around that 2,500 to $3,000 marker. Yeah, this 2.5. And I think I would have, I thought this book, um, cause this book actually came crumpled. It came right. crumpled. It was, I just, I, I, I bought one right before the submission to add another to the pile. Okay. And it was, um, I probably have photos somewhere, but it was, if you put it down and laid it, it would be a topographical map. Like it felt <laughs> you like it in, you in could braille. read it like braille. Okay. So I pressed it, um, to get it down and flat, but I thought I could have got this to a 3.0. Um, it does have, uh, kind of a chew at the bottom corner regardless um, this book is, I'm surprised at some of these cause I've seen plenty of 3.0s worse and to compare it to this 2.5, which yeah. looks much better. Look at how much better this one looks than the one that we just showed you. This white pager looks pretty damn gorgeous, man. All right. Well, let us know in the comments section what you think, comic fan. Does he need to resend some of these? Maybe what we could do is even crack some sent to hero restoration and see what they do to it. Maybe up the grade. Who knows? But your last one in the unclassified file. Hmm. Hmm. You have a 6.5. Ah, 6.5. All right. So that's not bad. Um, last 6.5 that I'm looking at went for $5,300. And also the last six, so went for 59. So safe to say it's about a $6,000 book. Hot damn. This, this one may have been one of the slabs that I had. I think I had a 6.0 slab. I'm gonna have to double check, but this one may have been a 6.0 slash. I think it a, was. That became a 6.5 after a press. I think it was because when we were going through all of them, there was no 6.0 indicator, and I know you indicated the slabs. That's probably it. That's probably it, yeah. So we already have a guru win. So that right there could comfortably be a $500 under est or a $500 win after press. Because we're seeing about $1,000 per point at this tier. Comic fam, how did the guru do so far? Because these are the ones that we're kind of surprised about because we lost some of the data here, didn't capture it all. The rest of them I got, so stay with us. This book has hit 20 bucks. Let off the gas, comic fam, unless you're really gun for some jack for the goodness. $75 cover price on this, don't overbid, but if somebody wants it, we got it. 